there was the publisher zone where you yes, can set up a meeting yeah. with places like Jump Point is to point sell people stuff that they don't really want to read, really but because see. they've seen the video, they're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> That's so messed up. Let's see if it works. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Ferris Wheels. We're at the first. We Ferris have actually wheel. been around it like six times. Yeah. I went That's around it faster than you did, remember? Yeah, you're pretty fast. <laughs> We're actually here at Comitia that you can see over there. This building over there, which is not media. Tokyo Big Site, it's Tokyo Big Site Aomi Exhibition Hall. And the reason we're here is because the, we are doing this project, yes. the Comitia Foreigners Drawing Manga in Japan project. Yes. And actually, we did see a couple foreigners at booths, didn't we? Yeah. I saw at least three or four. I saw like three or four. Yeah, but I didn't see a lot of foreigners like in a group. No group. I saw like a foreigner and a Japanese person next to them. Right, maybe, right, maybe right. The handler. Yeah, maybe the handler. Yeah, maybe the handler. <laughs> This is your first Kamita you've been first to. First one. I went a couple years ago with Wolf, so we've mm -hmm. got some opinions as well. But what did you think of your first Kamita? I don't even know where to begin. There's so many different things. Like, okay, first off, there is a lot of independent artists, which is really cool to see. It's some of these big comic book events. If people are using like they're doing Don't Shoot, Don't Shoot, where it's yep. like licensed. Yeah, office, fan art. Fan, stuff. It's basically all fan art. But this time, I got to see all original works. It was really cool. If you've been to Japan to like experience Japan, and you go to Comic Con and you go. Okay, yeah, but this is all like Toho Project, some some game I've never heard of right, with right, fan right, art. Right, like, right. If, if you're not into Fate Stay Night, then you don't know what's going on. You don't know that. It's like, what is this anime? I don't know, so I don't know all the fan works. But this, it's like, it doesn't even matter because they're not matter. based on any anime. Right. And that is both a good thing and a bad thing, I mm. think, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to go If there was a Macross fan art area, at least you would know. I'd be there. Like, yeah, to go over there, right. but it, doesn't, it wasn't clear which zone or what to, to buy. Because there's just so much of it, it's a little overwhelming in a way. Really too. overwhelming, yeah. It's, and the foot traffic's really fast depending on where you are. So, like, I felt like I was just moving the whole time. Like, it was like, ah, oh, 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 Yeah, you know? it's a little bit like, you know those, those water theme parks when you get in a little inner tube and yes. you just float around slowly? That even if you, a, even if you see a cool thing, you're kind of like, hey, oh, there, there, there it goes. goes. That's actually, that's a really good analogy. As a customer, yes. maybe that was a little bit stressful because it's, it's like little... there's thousands, literally tens of thousands of comics in there, but it's just difficult to know which ones to buy. If I knew of an artist that I knew for sure mm. that I was following, and I knew for sure they were going to be in this event, I would know, okay, I'm going to this booth, I'm going to check out their stuff, I'm mm. going to buy up their stuff, and then I'll, you know, pick up what I can. Mm. But being uh, like, I don't know who any of these people are, it's really hard. <laughs> But to find something we're into. So does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So ad as advice for maybe someone coming to community as a customer, you would say check out on Twitter. Right. Maybe right. look up the circles beforehand, see what you might be interested in before you right. arrive. It was less common that it was just like a person at a table, a person at a table. Right. It was always like three people sitting right, around. There was right, sometimes right. people like sitting on each other's laps because yeah, there wasn't that, enough that, space. It's pretty tight. Like, that's another thing too, the table space was kind of small. Yeah, like, it's like, really small. There's, there's going to be four of us. What are we going to do? Know, We're going to have to roam. Sitting on, sitting on laps, buddy. Gotta, gotta We're going to just <laughs> double pile up. up. That's how they'll, they'll notice us. We'll be yeah, really like, tall. We have the yes. Tower of Farners. The, I noticed the table space wasn't that big. Mm. It wasn't like super small, but mm. it's not as big as I would have imagined. And then Notice too that people weren't buying two tables. They only have one table. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can't. Maybe maybe, you, maybe yeah, there isn't even a way to apply for two yeah. tables. Ideally, you'd like to set up shop. Yeah. You'd like to have it your own way. You'd like to have a person with flyers. You'd like to have a big sign right. everywhere. You'd like to have music and visuals and yeah, screens. Yeah. But it looks like there's just so many constraints because of the space. You've only got a couple things you can work with: a poster mm -hmm. and what's on the table. What's on the table? That's pretty much it. If you're on the edge or the side, you have a little bit of room. Right? Mm. But if you're one of those, if you're saying, if you're in like one of the middle rows, it's pretty tight. But uh, without clout, before since we've never done it no before, clout. there's no way we would end up on the edges where they were, we're, we're gonna visible. End up, we're gonna be in a. I think we're gonna be right in the thick of it. To tell mm. the truth. There's thousands. What's the deal, man? Literally thousands of people. <laughs> yeah in there. And like you mentioned, I think that's a really good point, that because it's not based on an anime, mm -hmm. it's kind of difficult to know which zone to go to for the stuff you want. Right. Like, in general, I'd say like, there's animal stuff over here, yeah. there's human stuff over here, and, the other and there's stuff. like some other stuff <laughs> over there. You're only left with a big main image on your poster and your comics on the table. Right. And I discovered, personally, yes. that even if there were really cool characters, mm -hmm. I still didn't really pick it up and look at it. Yeah. The only stuff that really drew my attention was 
the one that had a poster that said also does work for this other thing. As long as there was something extra, I thought it's not just some person at Comitia selling comics. It's a person who's come to Comitia who also does this other thing. And so, like the most obvious one, who's like he's super famous and he's on the edge, is the guy who does the art for Kizuna Ai. Yes. Like, he does a character design for her. So it's not actually Kizuna Ai art. He's just right. selling posters and books and stuff that he sells, but it has that plus alpha. Right. He's the guy who does this other thing. That's yeah. why you need to pay attention. Yeah, I, and also too, I think because he does have a following too, that also helps break people. Because there's like mm. this stuff was like all, a lot of it was sold out. Yeah, too. yeah, it was all sold out. We couldn't, I couldn't buy any. That's why I've got to show you the Kamika guy because yeah, he didn't sell out. The only thing he had was tapestries and posters. Yeah. I also noticed like if you have a lot of characters on your banner, mm. it just kind of goes into it, like yeah. there's, it doesn't have a specific kind of impact yeah. to it. It becomes, it becomes it very, very else. dilute and there's no little bold effect that draws your eye to it. It right. just becomes oh, another poster with a bunch of characters on it. Right, right, right. Yeah. But the one that you pointed out that yes. was really striking, there's describe that, how that looked. Cool. It was just basically like a face, kind of like a downward angle, but the way it was painted, it had like a definite striking image. But there it was, was something like, about the composition as well. The composition like, had, we talked about this earlier, like leading lines as far as like it brought because of the like the, the top of the headpiece went down to the eyes it kind of like maybe kind of point down to the table in a way too so and also it helped that she had food for hair yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right there in the middle and it, it was just it, striking it, it, it led my eyes right to the character and that was at a point where we, were we had seen thousands by that point so yeah much. so our eyes have already been kind of blown i was blazing out. over i was like yeah, there's like a million of these rings right. uh, more big eyes yeah. the uh, thing is they were all fantastic looking all, as well yeah that's another thing so many fantastic looking things it wasn't a question of oh i can't find anything that i like it's like well i could probably like any of these yeah. things but if i stop and look at them i won't see all the others right there's like a term for that where like there's too many things to choose from. Stasis? Like, yeah, option like, stasis? It's like an abundance of something. Yeah, like, there's like there there's a word something. for it. There's a saying for it. Option paralysis? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Analysis, uh, paralysis by analysis. Wait, analysis by paralysis. Well, what about the merch? What do you think about the merch? I'm going to be honest. I don't think that the people who are coming to Comitia are coming for stuff. I think they want comics. I thought it was quite cool when there was a booth that had like postcards and stickers and keychains, but really it was 98.5% just people with book-shaped comics. And I think that it, I didn't see I didn't see keychains flying off the shelf or anything. Question, did you see, I know that people, of course people were buying comics. I don't know if it was the time of day. Did you see a lot of people actually making purchases? Because there were Not a lot Not really, of that's true. I mean, I did see people buying stuff, but I didn't see like, you know, like, like, ah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think it might have been the time of day. It might be the time of day. That's why I'm kind of curious. I think, like you say, I think people do their research. They find exactly what circle it is they want to go right, and right. buy, and then they'll show up at 11, because we went in around midday, well, what, yeah, it was like 1.30. There is selling happening, but maybe it's just the wrong time, wrong of, time day. of day. It's only Sunday, right? It's only well, it's, it's only one day, it's only yeah. One day. Okay, but I'll it happens four it. times a year. Okay, Comic so. gets like three days long, but it happens twice a year. Not only did we see people selling their own comics, there was the publisher's zone where you yes, could set up a meeting wanted, yeah. with places like Jump, and that's the only name I can remember, but there were about 55 companies. Yeah, that was publishing. really cool to see. And, and if, you can, like, if you have really good eyes, you can kind of see what people are showing as their work. Yeah, like, yeah like, you could peer over it and you, you could see like what kind of quality of work they were showing yeah. to these editors. Yeah. And that was just mind, it was just mind-blowing. Cool. What I noticed at the publishing area was I would pick up published manga. So they had examples of the stuff that they normally publish. Mm -hmm. I leafed through it, and I was like, you know what? I can't tell the difference art-wise between something I picked up over here and something that the amateurs that's are making true. over there. The quality amateurs, actually isn't different. <laughs> the only thing that's different that, between the amateurs mm. and the professionals is one people are published yeah. and other people aren't. Oh, yeah, that's the story. only physical difference. Really. Right, right. These, all these people are dope. Everyone, really every one Everyone's... of these people could be published, yeah. but for one reason or another, maybe they don't want to, they don't have time, or they tried, they right. didn't get in. Publishers have a limit on the number of things that they can publish. Right. For whatever reason, they're not on the published side. Yeah. But quality-wise, I was like, I can't tell the difference. It's, it's like, like, this is amazing and that's amazing. I'd say, like, honestly, I'm not even joking, like 90% of the stuff I saw there was like legit pro quality stuff. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's a couple of dudes like, I'm drawing it with my feet. Yeah, 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 there were a few there, there that were like, uh, uh. I don't know. That should be really applauded. 
thing that's kind of making me think of rethink my whole thing about Hmong and all stuff too is like mm. you need some sort of it factor. I don't know if that's the thing. Interesting. When I first came, I was also kind of like, okay, I need to find out what do people like. They seem to like girls, and they like to have tanks, and so if we put <laughs> them together, it looks like we're gonna have this magical combination, and we'll sell like hotcakes. But this second time that I'm coming now, mm. I'm starting to think it's more like I think people are not thinking about the marketing at all. Mm. They're just making what they like. And if they sell it to people who also like it, then they consider that a success. It's not even like I'm going to change the content to be what's in right now. What do people like? It's just I don't even care what people like. I'm just going to make the stuff that I like, and I think people will like and uh, sell it. So you know? yeah, I'd like to get like a good cross section of like if we could get a mm. cross section of some of the artists in the in the artist alley, and mm. interview them, and see what they're what their goals we'll have are. To ask, ask Japanese. Uh. <laughs> we maybe could because when we've got a table, we'll be able to socialize with people around us, and we've got Ask Japanese Kathy Cat in our at yeah. our table, so she'll probably be able to freely interview people yeah. while we're there. I really feel like I changed my stance. From before, I used mm. to think I would I would strategize on like what is the manga that people want to read, what is really buzzing, and what's really going to work and succeed. And then I came here, and I think. Their idea of success is completely different to what mine was. Oh. It was like their idea of success is selling to people who appreciate the stuff that they appreciate. Okay, I have a devil's advocate. Go for it. Go for it. Is that the reason why you think that some of them are pro and some of them aren't pro? Absolutely, absolutely. I think, for example, okay. Uchida, who mm. shows up on our channel, she really likes cyberpunk, mm -hmm. but she knows that cyberpunk is not a thing right now. Mm -hmm. It's not happening. But no matter what, she wants to stick with cyberpunk.、Mm. So she's not working with the publishers anymore.、Mm. She would much rather do live manga painting on walls because she gets to fly around the world and、right. go to these events because、right. she gets to do cyberpunk.、Right. And I think that's kind of the vibe here. It's like,、mm. look, I know that cyberpunk's not the thing, but I want to make、this. cyberpunk and sell to people who like cyberpunk. I think the same. When you said、uh, it's changed my stance too. Like, oh yeah. It's been a, it's been a really productive. It's been、trip. really productive. Like I didn't <laughs>、really、buy anything, but it was、yeah. just like just it, okay. Like that's a research trip. Yeah, it's research. So it taught me like, look, draw what you love, which is good, you know. But at the same time, you gotta have, you gotta be, you gotta little, put a little something on it to, to market it, to get it, get some eyeballs on it.、Mm, I、and、know then, exactly what. And hopefully, you get a chance to do what、Absolutely. you want, as opposed to okay, I'm gonna conform now. I'm gonna do what everybody else wants. And hopefully they'll do. It's like no, no, do what you want. But I'm gonna put that energy maybe in trying to get different ways to, for people to see your art. That same, I had that firecrackers going off or nothing like that. Maybe we actually have the same view on it, but maybe you come out come out with slightly different outcomes. Yeah, that's fine. That's and fine,、yeah. what, what I what I'm kind of thinking. It sounds like you're saying is they can do whatever they want and just sell to the people that they want. But it's almost like there's just a bit of wasted potential. If they、yes. did a little bit more pizzazz and a bit more marketing, and then, then they could actually be reaching even more of those people that they're trying to reach. That's pretty much. And I much, think that's yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was really true. I think. I think yeah, because like it's, it's so talented. I think because like we're coming at a little, a little bit of Western. Oh yeah, of course. View, right? of course. So we're a little bit more proactive.、Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, okay, look, I'm gonna make you look at me. Yeah,、you、yeah. I mean? As opposed, as opposed to like kind of wash up. I hope somebody. You know, you know,、yeah. takes the time. We're, we're we're not shy. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. you know, we're we're pretty. We're like, not introverts. We're not introverts.、Yeah. When I was studying music. It was an interesting topic that they would always talk about. Composers are people who like to be seen by hundreds of thousands at concerts. Okay. But when they're doing composition, they like to be in their room, away from everyone.、Yeah. So they're like introverts who want to be extroverts. Oh. And yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah. kind of like what it's like to be a comic artist. It's like I want thousands of millions of people to read my stuff, but I also want no one to see me, and I want to. <laughs> I just, I just want to stay in my bedroom and do it. Yeah. So it's like we're dealing with this a, duality of being an introvert and extrovert at the same time, and that's what it's like. It's a social crisis right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. We can get the balance right because if we go too far, we'll be like, "Look at me, look at me, look at me." They'll be like, "Oh, look, the foreign table's making noise again." Right. I mean, of course, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it tasteful. You know, it's not so much about being、yeah. loud. I, I know what you mean because right now, looking through the tables, it's basically a bunch of tables, and the comic is on the table, and we just wait.、Comic. We just wait until the money comes in.、And、there's gotta be something more that we can do. There's gotta be something. And we, I did see some people. They had their iPads up、mm. with video reels.、And、one thing that we did notice: a few people were drawing on their iPad. Yeah, but they didn't have it mirrored on the front, so we couldn't see what they were drawing. And I think that'd be kind of good. I think it's a shame, isn't it? What if we drew stuff for people that were coming through? I don't know if people get mad at that. You might be causing a traffic jam. Check the regulations and see if that's about that's yeah, possible. Yeah, just you have to 
break that kind of just like an invisible wall. Mm, there you know is a, I mean? there is an invisible wall. It's a thick wall. It's a thick invisible it's a very wall. Thick wall. But we're like millimeters away from each other, but it's still but just it's, walking straight past. It's like a weird kind of. Mm. In like, fact, if you've got advice and you've been to comic events near you, or maybe video game events, any events where they've got an artist alley, yeah. how do you? get people to come in because I think it's an extra challenge yeah. here in Japan. I think how it's do you, like how do you, even harder. Yeah, how do you break that kind of wall of like, okay, now you're in my space mm. and we're in this space together and we're having a, a moment. I know what it is. A comic needs to be called Kathy Cat the Manga <laughs> and she's there in real life and she's on the front page. Yo, we'll just make a bunch of Kathy Cat. And people will just go, oh my god, look. The person on that comic is the person what? standing right there. And that's, but I think that's actually, that's actually not, not a bad, bad idea. That's, that's not, not a bad, bad idea. idea. I think yeah. the front cover should just be Kathy's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll put the food on Yeah, and then we'll just put the comic right next to her. I don't know if we can possibly try to do a little bit of viral marketing and get a little bit of heat on us before we arrive at the... I mean, that's what this video series is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the point is to point sell people stuff that they don't really want to read, really but because they've seen the video, they're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> Let's see if it works. That's so messed up. Let's see if it works. But this has been really eye-opening. This has been a really eye-opening and productive, productive yeah. trip. And I think we've got a lot. It's, it's it's easier now, I think, for me to. I, at the same time, it's harder as well. I'm kind of. I've got even more ideas. Yeah, That's yeah, gonna yeah, make yeah. It even harder. Yeah, I gotta check out option some option paralysis now. Before, yeah. But at the same time, it's really made me inspired. I'm like, look, it it these people are not thinking about am I good enough for this? They're just they like good enough. Just want to draw. It's just want to draw. I'm just gonna sit here. Put it on the table, and if people buy it, I'll be happy. Yeah. And I think that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I fully agree. Good experience. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Check out other videos in this series where we've got people getting character design advice. We've been going to Kamitia like a couple years ago. There's a video from that as well. You can check that out. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.